What is up guys, it's your boy Steven Knez back at it again. Guys, we're out here a little night hitting sesh for Road to the Pros episode five. I think it's five, right? Guys, I've been slacking to be honest. Actually, I've been working my butt off, a little bit more TikTok focused, but we're filming a vlog today, you know? Q&A and hit with me sesh. We're gonna talk about how I gained 20 pounds, bro. A lot of you guys slide up in my DMs and hit me up about that, so definitely gonna answer your questions. If you guys are new here, my name's Steven Knez. I'm 23 years old, taking a gap year, focused on my social media career, trying to play pro ball somewhere, whether it be an independent team, Savannah Bananas, maybe even somewhere overseas. Just trying to go as hard as I can every single day and taking you guys along for the journey. The Valley Boys, baby. So yeah, if you guys are new, drop a subscribe. We just hit 75K, super stoked about that. So yeah, let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys, jump straight into it. How did I gain 20 pounds, bro? Dude, I've been eating like crazy, man. I'm gonna be honest. My mother has been hooking it up with meals. Bunch of chicken. I'll put some of my meals up right now because I'll be posting them on my Instagram and Snapchat stories. So go follow me both, at Steven Knez. But guys, I've also just been being like way consistent. It's really a difference maker. Consistent with my arm care. Consistent with my lifting. Yeah, guys, sorry about this lighting. I look like a ghost. But yeah, I've been using bands religiously, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do with that. I think it's probably contributed to my upper body gains the most out of anything, to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my warm up, what I do every single day before I lift, when I'm lifting at my house with the bands. Let's get it. Other side for the shoulder gains. So you guys usually do 20 to 25 of those on each arm. If you guys are new, I've been battling with this left shoulder injury. It sucks when I hit, bro. Doing these every single day, I fix my shoulder health tremendously. So it's only strengthened in my delt, my rotator cuff a little bit. And so when your muscles are stronger, they can protect your ligaments, you know? I've been doing that. Then I jump into back and then chest. So let's get it. Got a little chest action plus a little fire siren. Then we got shoulders and arms. Just a couple reps on biceps and triceps to make sure you still got them. But yeah, guys, that seems super simple, to be honest. Once you get a good amount of volume, like you get a good like 15 to 25 reps in every single day, your upper body and shoulders are forced to grow, especially with the over the head bands right there. I used to do a lot of overhead press, but guys, with my shoulder, I've been sticking with just the bands on mostly overhead stuff, and it's worked, so. I'll show some pictures of my shoulder gains right now. So now we are going to hit. Comment down below what you think of my swing right now. This is the first time swinging in like a week. I got to prep for the alumni game at Valley, man. I can't believe I'm already an alumni, man. That's insane. I could have played there last year, bro, but I freaking transferred. I thought they were getting canceled again. But yeah, so I got to make sure I'm in uh, okay shape to face these guys. I've been battling in Dodger films. So yeah, I'm going to take some warm-up hacks and then let's get right into it. All right, guys, taking a breather. Just went on uh, Instagram Live right now, so I'm gonna answer some questions. Let's go rapid fire, max bench press. I'm like working back up to it right now because I took a minute off because the shoulder, you know, lame excuses. But I was at a solid 245. That was me during quarantine, just going crazy. Tired of having a little bird chest, bro. I'm back to 225, just like on like a one or two rep thing. But like been going a lot of volume. Trying to get back there. Trying to get those chest and shoulder gains. You already know how it is. If you had to rate your bat out of 10 for pop, what would you rate it? Guys, right now I'm swinging the Easton Encore. We got this baby right here. Dude, so far so good, man. I'd say like a nine out of 10. I haven't took it to the field yet. Gonna take it to hit tracks tomorrow. Tomorrow, actually my boy Jake bear swung it he popped a couple like a hundreds so yeah no the bat's hot for sure I've always liked the green Easton pop a picture up like right here dude I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eric Sim with that dude on a little home run derby at the Dodger films field so yeah no green Easton has a, a good place in my heart I got to try some more bats to be honest I'm not like a huge huge bat nerd like some people are you know I'm fortunate enough to just be sent bats so I'm just like you know what I'll, I'll swing this baby this sounds sick but I, I have swung a lot of bats so I, I know which ones are good and which ones kind of suck but big shout out to Easton though Valley Boys head Bands and arm sleeves, I'd cop 100%. Shout out to my boy Gabe Walker, he's always commenting. Guys, the more you comment too, like, I like know your guys' names, bro. Like, all the Valley Boys do, we're all close. It's a really dope community, bro. We're all just getting after it and supporting each other and everything. If you guys comment daily, bro, I might throw you guys a follow back, bro. That'd be sick. So, yeah, go over, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snap. I'm gonna add a couple of you guys back. But yeah, no, headbands would be fire. Do you guys rep a Valley Boys headband? I gotta get those made. Uh, so, comment down if you guys think I should make those. All right, next question. You are the best Dodger Films player. That's not a question, but you know, I had to read that out. I appreciate you, bro. I I'd have to disagree though. I'm gonna say my boy Soup is. That dude hits a home run literally every single at bat. And he makes some crazy 
he plays at third, I'll just be in the outfield roaming around, bro. But no, I appreciate it, bro. I've been trying my hardest, okay, to rake in softball with the boys and the girls. Do you got any tips or drills to help stop rolling over? Honestly, bro, I'd say biggest thing for me is having a good front side. Because if you have a good front side, you don't have to overcompensate with your bottom hand. My bottom hand is what makes me roll over. Like, I just grip it too hard or something. So, having a good front side, like, lead block leg kind of thing. And make sure that you're staying up the middle and staying true to the balls. Guys, look for that right now in my next little batch of swings. Because, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on that. So, let's get it back to hitting. Uh, you see, I didn't have a good lead front leg, so I completely rolled over. And there we go. Thought that ball was gonna come back and hurt me in the face. That was a nice little line up the middle. All right, guys, just finished that round. Swing's feeling solid, bro. Does still feel a little stiff, but you know what? If I were to get like shoulder surgery or something, this, like after the rehab, it would literally come out the same. Just like a little, little achy all the time, you know? So I'm like, you know what? Just gonna power through this. Get some strength gains with the shoulder action, you know? So yeah, now we're here. But you know what? I'm in a pretty fortunate position, bro. Like I don't really have to like go to practice every single day with the team. I can literally just get my hacks in on my own with my homies. I also got to grind. Like my boy Jackson, also I'm gonna see him tomorrow. And like-minded individuals and I have time to put out this content for you guys so really appreciate all you guys for letting me be in this position letting me do what i love bro i honestly love just grinding and grinding and then you know what if i hit bombs in games it's a plus right so you just gotta love the process trust it trust in god things will start to go your way but yeah guys we're on that valley boy grind comment down below any ideas that you guys want me to do got a lot of stuff in mind so i can't wait for you guys to see it we're gonna go crazy on the skits now too gonna bring some girls into this skit it's gonna be fun so if you guys are entertained make sure you join the squad make sure you join the valley boys but yeah guys let's get back to it Alrighty guys, now we got balls scattered across the cage. And yeah, I just finished, man. Just finished hitting the bucket. I like to go at least a bucket a day or maybe even three quarters of a bucket just to make sure my swing's rolling. I've been doing a lot of dry hacks lately in the mirror, just making sure everything looks solid, using my legs optimally and everything. So yeah, I don't know. Your boys are working, all right? The Valley boys grind. We get after every single day, no matter who's watching, no matter who's hating, doubting. Guys, I've had a lot of haters and doubters in my life, man. But you know what? A lot of things I've done ended up paying off. Why wouldn't I keep going? You know, Valley boys way is a proven method. Methods. It's funny hearing some haters just like hate on me. It's like, guy, you don't think I've heard this before. I know a lot of you guys go through that too, you know, even if it's in high school, middle school, anything. A lot of people see you trying hard at something that you enjoy. They'll call you a try hard and uh, make that an insult, you know. I've been called a try hard so many times, bro, especially in middle school, high school. They're like, bro, you're such a try hard. I wouldn't get invited to parties because people would know I would just like turn them down because I'm just grinding in the cage, grinding on an edit for YouTube. But you know, it's paid off. I've created a career that that 75,000 of you guys enjoy on YouTube 170,000 on TikTok and Instagram so I love all you guys man without you guys I'd be nothing man honestly appreciate every single one of you guys if you guys got any questions or tips leave them down in the comments DM me on Instagram at Steven Kinez if you guys want to see Road to the Pros episode 6 coming soon comment down below for that as well I'm trying to up my comments and likes and everything so if you guys could help out with the algorithm love all you guys bad boys bad girls that's gonna be on the video today comment down below what you guys want to see next subscribe turn on those post notices and I'll see you guys the next one. Bow boys out, baby. Peace.